Not a lot of the garden. Oh, the hose is kinking. Pulling it around the raised bed. It's, it's gonna tear on the metal bed. Oh, watering the garden. Ah! Everyone, you know what I'm talking about here. If you're a person who struggles like me in the garden with the hoses, you'll appreciate why Mr. Blue Jeans got me this amazing gift. I'm so excited. One of the biggest problems and concerns I had in our garden was pulling the hose, and we've got 200 feet of hose just to get from the hydrant to the garden, then in the garden to the back of the garden. That's a lot of hose and a little me, and it gets heavy. But that's not the biggest problem. One of the biggest problems was with our metal raised beds, pulling the hose around the corner. I tried putting things in the way, stuff for it to go around. I didn't want to buy yet another thing to put in the ground. I don't mind getting something like this, but I didn't want to buy something just to stick in the ground um, to run a hose around because I've noticed a lot of times, for me anyway, the hose rides up. It'll ride up the raised bed through the tomato plant, crush the new thing that's growing down the other side to where I need to water. It's been a mess. <laughs> it's just been a mess. So I've been looking for quite some time and, and mentioning to Mr. Blue Jeans that I would love a different way to get the hose through the garden. And bless his heart, he has done a few things for me. I'll show you the garden cart he got me. And we're also looking at one of those little garden scooters that you can sit on and move around. Because one of the things I think about when I'm homesteading is getting older. It's just a fact of life. It's what happens. I'm in pretty good form now. You know, as the years go by, you feel those like some pains and different things. I want to ward that off. I had injured my back a long time ago, so I'm always very careful with lifting or tugging or pulling. And so this cart comes in really handy for something like that. I don't have to be tugging a, a heavy water hose around. What I wanted to show you guys was the assembly. I got this at Tractor Supply. Um, it was comparable to things I found online as well, so I can post a link online. I am not a sponsor of Tractor Supply um, at all, but uh, we do shop there a lot. We love our manager at our particular Tractor Supply. She's a doll. Um, and so we picked this up, and I thought I'd just go ahead and put it together here for you so you could see how easy, or maybe not easy, I don't know. Um, literally, I just took the instructions out to see what I would need. It said I would need two adjustable wrenches which I quickly could not find, so I'm hoping channel locks and um, uh, maybe a set of uh, clines and some other things will work for me. We'll find out. Uh, you know, with everything still being in disarray, uh, it's easy. It's not easy for me to find certain tools and things, so I just, you know, make it work. So it's packed nicely. Um, wow, these, these are heavy. I'm going to assume these are the, uh, the axles. They look like it. Uh, okay, let's see if I can get this out of here. I'm going to tip it towards me. Because it's dragging a little bit on the box. Let's see if I can get it out that way. Okay, so yeah, so now it's all going to fall out. There's the handle. Ugh, styrofoam. I try to use reuse styrofoam. Don't really love styrofoam. Uh, but then, you know, I'm that reusable person. So things like that that I can't can't find a way to reuse on the farm, drive me a little nuts. All right, here's the reel. I better set that this way. That's telling me that's the way it wants to go. The attachment hose for your hose. A box of goodies. And then the base that the whole thing is set up on. All right. That was easy. Let me get it all out of the plastic here. Um, I have to tell you, I'm surprised at the weight. I didn't think this was going to be as heavy. I'm always a little, uh, I don't think cautious is, a, is the word, but maybe um, pessimistic about things like these. Um, I always expect them to be a little lighter weight, a little bit more. I hope I get three years out of them. Um, and this is pleasantly surprising at the weight of the metal itself. So I like that. 
Uh, speaking of things I'm unsure of, I, I don't have a lot of experience with solid form tires. You know, I'm used to the kind you blow up that are, that are rubber tires and last for forever. So we'll see how this goes. Carts that had blow up tires though, we're talking we're probably in the neighborhood of 250 up and that just wasn't something on our plate. So we went with this one and so far, uh, you know, just unpacking, the quality is, is better than I had suspected. So I'm gonna take a minute here. Fittings are nice and heavy. All right, I'm gonna take a minute here. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. But I'm gonna kind of read through and see what it takes for me to assemble this and then we'll come back to me assembling it. A little caffeine boost. <laughs> all right, so um, all parts seem to be here, which is a good thing. I've learned to look. Uh, we recently bought something and um, it was missing so many parts, there was no way we could put it together. So we uh, returned it and bought another one, and everything was there. So these things happen with some companies, and, and that's fine. We're patient the first time around. Uh, in this case, nothing's missing. So what they want me to do is take the um, the axle and they want me to pop that through which makes sense to me put the tires on so that's what we're going to do put the tires on now it looks like they have the washers on the outside of the tire so i'm going to do what they say i might in time buy another washer and put it on the inside because I think it needs something to rub up against and I think that should be the washer so that might be a little uh, a little something that I do myself this is when you need another set of hands all right I'm just gonna finger tighten these on and I'll tighten them up and we'll get on to the next thing The nice thing is with these nuts, you can tell exactly which side goes out, the rounded side, and which side goes towards the tire, the flat side. And I'm sure a lot of you, like me, who have assembled things before know these things. However, there are people who are new to assembly and uh, will have assembled something and realize that wasn't the way to go. All right, the nice thing is the way they built the, uh, the axle rod, it was rounded with a flat side. When you look at the tube it goes into, the tube matches that shape. So when you put it through, you don't have to have another set of hands holding it over here as you screw onto this side. So that was nice. It just took just me with the one, uh, the one channel lock being able to tighten those. So that was nice. All right, so on to the next thing. Now it's telling me to assemble this doohickey. But it came assembled. This is the swivel where your hoses go, and it already came assembled, so that's nice. That was a bonus. So at this point, what I need to do is lift up the reel, put the reel on here, and then they're gonna put, have me put this, uh, the water assembly on uh, to hold it in place. So here goes the reel. Now I'm gonna turn this so you can see it better. We'll do it like this. So the handle goes on the outside, so to speak. And you know what I should have done? I should have undone these screws. One more second. I'm getting my work out this morning, aren't I? So let's see, these screws have wing nuts. Which ones do they want me to use here? Um, not those, not the wing nut ones. Okay, so they want me to use the screws with the nut. There's also a set of uh, there's two screws with wing nuts. We'll find out what those are for in a minute, I'm sure. All right, so back to this. Put this on here. They have the uh, U-clamp right here. So I'll put this through. Give this a quick tighten. If I can with one hand. Oh, this is going to be good. Now is when I need that other person. Okay. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm sure I have a box or something. All right, so the one thing they don't include is the other person that's gonna hold that end up for me. I have a box of pencils. All right, dirty secret. I don't throw away anything. 
I uh, probably saved every pencil and pen I've ever come in contact with. Uh, that's because I have a habit of losing them so quickly. Well, that's not going to really work. It's not tall enough, is it? And I got to show you that. That was fun. All right, let's try this one more time. See if I can make it happen one-handed. Ha, ha, ha. Obviously, the box of pencils scared them. All right. Okay, again, just finger tightening right now to get everything on. All right, now here's that fun little side. Remember this assembly? All right, so that's going on now with this swivel brass part to the outside. So it looks like what I need to do is put, oh gosh, you know they told me that and I didn't pay attention. This little assembly part needs to go on first. So I'm gonna see if I can cheat and just put it on now. I can, yay! All right, I uh, don't wanna squish it down too hard for fear I mess something up. So let me see how it's supposed to look when it's done. Okay, so that should be pointing up when I'm done. All right, I think I can get another turn out of it. I can. All right, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> okay. So here come two more of these. This time I have the hands for it. So all I did on the other side to make the nut not move so I could tighten the, uh, or make the screw not move, is I just took this and kind of kinked it a little bit and trapped the screw, wedged it a little bit, got it started, and then unwedged it. So if you're alone and you don't have anybody to help you, you can do that little trick. Or have somebody else do the whole thing. <laughs> that works too. We got another one of those really cool Harris nesting boxes in the other day to kind of finish off the coops. And because uh, I wanted all the girls to have the same nice nesting box. And we we're very happy with those. If you haven't seen that video, I did a video on how to assemble that nesting box. Um, and they've been holding up very well for any of you that have them. I love them. So I'll put the link below so you can see that assembly. Uh, but the last one that came in, I asked my son-in-law to do it. <laughs> um, which was lovely because I was doing other things. Okay, so here we go. Pretty easy so far. There's my handle, which they had already connected for me. So that's nice. Um, what is next? All right, they want me, speaking of handles, they want me to put the handle on. The handle on the handle. So this is a rubber crank handle that's going on. that works. And what's next? Uh, the taller handle. All right, well, that's an important one. Now this particular model didn't come with a basket. Some have a basket. I didn't need a basket. I don't switch out anything. I have my beautiful garden cart that Mr. Blue Jeans bought me. So I didn't, I didn't need an extra basket. Oh, this is tight. All right, I'm going to take this off the table to get a little bit better leverage. Blech, it's heavy. <laughs> Just going to try to pull it back off. Okay. We'll try it one more time down here. Okay. So that was the deal. Me being my height, um, did not give me the leverage, so it just pushes on. I just, I just couldn't do it, so sorry guys. You didn't miss much. Uh, basically, it's what you saw actually going on. Uh, so we put these in here. Can you believe we're almost done? I, I can, actually can't believe this is almost done. That is so quick and easy. Might have even been able to do it without my glasses. So I think what I'm going to do now is tighten everything down uh, and then uh, take it out to the garden and give it a whirl. 